All right, we're going to create a character on Star Trek Online for you guys. So we're going to go to new character. Now, they have a new process right now, so I've only been through this once. Um, this In this new process, you can choose, again, as always, uh, Star Trek Disgracery, better known by some people who are, I think, mentally handicapped as a discovery. Um, but let's be honest with you. So is the creator, Kurtzman. Um, but then we have the Dominion. So Discovery is its own time period that nobody cares about, except for those people that think they're all great. Um, but Discover uh, Dominion is its own uh, class that kind of chooses sides, basically. And the two sides we have to choose from, I'm going to jump down here to the bottom two, uh, are the two groups of the Klingon side and the Federation side. So that's our two group side. Um, Romulan does the same thing. Uh, Romulan, what you do is you level up to about level 10, and then you choose either to side with the Federation or the Klingons. Um, Dominion, you start, I think it's level 55, uh, or 50, right in there, and then you, uh, automatically, uh, get to choose at some level after doing a few missions. I, I have a uh, Dominion character, but I, to be honest with you, I didn't play it much. much. Um, what I do recommend as a Star Trek fan, if you're a huge fan, play the TOS Starfleet. Because you start in the old Star Trek era, you use their old ships, you get to level up with them. And the coolest part is, is you're actually going on missions that are close to the uh, episode missions. A few episodes they chose. Uh, one of which of those episodes is when James Kirk is stabbed in the back. You arrive after that. Uh, it's been a while since I played it, but I highly recommend that. Uh, for those who are Star Trek fans. Um, again, we have Romulans. Uh, let's leave the top one of Disgrace 3 alone because nobody cares. We're going to start simple here and we're just going to choose uh, Federation. And we're going to look through that real quickly. Under the Federation, you can choose... Let me wait for this to finish booting up here. Um, oh, let's click it again. Oh, alright. I'm hitting next. Oh, I do love this music, ladies and gentlemen. But anyway, you have uh, races you get to choose from. Uh, human, Endorian, uh, Beta Z, if you guys remember those, that's uh, Council Troy was half of that. Bajoran, uh, Bolian, um, I don't remember the dude's name that was this race. Uh, they didn't use him much in the series. But one of the things they've ha added recently is Cardassian, and that's actually new to me. I found that out last night when I tried to do a video. Um, I already have a character prepped to go for Ferengi and Klingon. Um, Liberate Borg you can now play. Um, some of these, I doubt you see many of these uh, in this race. I don't even remember them too much in series. Talaxian, to be honest with you, I'm not a Neelix fan. Um, yeah, I'm kind of pissed. I gave his lungs back at the end of uh, episode 5, I think it was. Um, Tellarites, Trills. Um, there is a special trill where you can be an implanted trill with a symbiote as well, but that you have to buy that feature. And everybody loves the Vulcan. And then you have your alien where you create your own alien. I have a character uh, of that as well. But let's keep this simple. Um, let's go ahead and just choose a human. Uh, gender, well, <clears throat> I'm a dude. I'm going to choose a dude, but I have female characters. So uh, I want to take this time to say that I am pissed about how, like, all the characters that STOs so at Star Trek Online has decided to replace because they want to be more female-centered. I'm sorry, that's BS. Um, replacing one character add another character, whether because of gender or race, is bullshit. Um, and Hollywood is paying for that. I just don't think they can get that through their thick, thick, stupid brains. Because I do believe most people in Hollywood are, uh, Hollywood are mentally handicapped. Anyway, moving on. From the character uh race and gender you get to choose your basically your school of trade you have three schools to choose from uh tactical science and engineering later on you get to choose starships that have the same class tactical science or engineering you don't have to be an engineer and stay with the engineer ships you don't have to do that you uh those are the cruisers like the enterprise d enterprise a um uh, those ships, you can be a tactical officer dude in play, you can be a science officer in play. 
you get all you get those choices. Um, the uh, tactical ship is your basically I can't remember what they called it um, escort ship from Star Trek D Space Nine. Um, your science ship is like the Voyager ship. Um, and again, your engineering is the uh, Enterprise or cruiser type class. So I recommend that all players begin with tactical. So I'm gonna click on tactical and hit next like I did. And we're gonna move on. Moving on, try it again. All right, I think it's doing something now. <sighs> all right, here we are. Appearance, so like any other game that's MMO, you get to choose your own appearance. They have their presets here. You can again have a visor with a beard, have a little gray in your beard. Um, whatever you wanna do. You can also change the head. Hang on, let me go back to presets. Oh, I'm running a little slow. So hair, coloring, advanced. You have advanced options for your presets, by the way. Um, there you go. So you can really give them a nice, let's see here. Let's see, length of chin. Er, grow that out. Um, lip fullness. Mm, kissy, kissy, kissy. Yeah, okay. Anyway, you can do all the things you do, like, pretty much in any other game. So, head, body, same thing. Last time I was on here, I gave myself a big pot belly. Um, then you have uniforms. So, uh, they used to have in here where, you know, you had to be careful when making a character. You'd accidentally use some of your zen, which is the currency in the game. Uh, you have two, well, you have three levels of your currency. You have your energy credits. You have your dilithium and you have your Zen. Dilithium can be used to buy Zen in the game, and you can use money, actual real money, to buy Zen as well. <coughs> um, but you can also buy uniforms. And it looks like to me, uh, they took out uh, all of the uniforms you couldn't purchase in here, so you couldn't accidentally spend money you didn't mean to spend. Um, so like uh, 30, uh, 23rd, century, 23rd century and Dorian uniform belt, that would generally cost money, uh, but I think yeah, I've already bought it in one of my sets. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and yeah, let's go ahead. We're gonna go move on. We're gonna randomize this. There we go. We can randomize this up here. We're gonna go ahead and move on. Oh, sorry. Randomize. I hit the reset button. There you go. And so you can randomize things. You can change it later while you're in the game as well. So there's a lot of options. So let's hit the next button here. All right. You have your name. You also have a, a formal name as well. And then a ship name. You can randomize your name for character. Um, you can also randomize your ship. Once you hit the engage button, you begin with your character. All right, at this point, you may or may not have an option. I have played the uh, tutorial episode. I recommend everybody plays it so they learn how to pilot A, the ship, how to use the weapons, uh, how to move as a character in a human body instead of in the ship body. Um, <clears throat> but I recommend you do that. I've already played through it, so... I will probably do a tutorial of it at some point, but eh, I don't really want to. Let's go ahead and we're gonna uh, see here. I'd like to play the tutorial. No, we're gonna say skip the tutorial because I played it. So anyway, that was creating a character, but we're not done yet. We're going to change character. We're going to look at other races too. Uh, log this character out. Yes. I'm gonna later delete that. All right, let's go ahead and create a new character again. And we're going to look at other options we have. We're going to stay away from Disgracery. But we're going to go to the Klingon Defense Force. Does that excite you? Do you notice how they always start with the female? 
It's again that female centric crap. All right, let's go ahead and give this dude a penis. There we go. All right. So again, you have your Klingon species, and apparently Cardassian is playable on both races. I didn't know that. Uh, Gorn. Uh, Lethian. I don't. I, I don't. I hardly remember the race. Uh, liberated board. You can play on both sides. Nosigan. Orions. Talaxians. Why in God's green earth with Klingons allow Talaxians? I mean. No. Okay, apparently they want people to play Talaxians. And then you have aliens. So those are your options here. Um, again, all the other options are the same. So we're going to go ahead and go back a step or two. Let's go to the Romulan Republic. Romulan Republic. You can play Romulans, Remans, Liberated Borg, or just alien species. So, not many choices there. Uh, I think I have one Riemann. Liberated Borg is just, I think, any class. Um, except for Era. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next. TOS. Let's look at that. So, again, this is a time-specific category. Now, let's be honest. You guys saw this. If you're Star Trek fans, you saw that old 23rd century style there. Isn't that kind of cool? Or is it really cool? All right, um, let's go ahead and next here real quickly. The races, again, you can play human, 23rd century. You can do um, Andorian, 23rd century, Tellarite, or Vulcan. So three races there. And again, I highly recommend that players play this because if you're a fan of the old generation, you're actually playing through episodes of the old generation and you take a part in some of the episodes you may remember. All right, let's go ahead and back this up a step. Dominion, we'll look at that. So Dominion, again, you got the Dominion sh uh, bridge right there. And you can only play Jimadar. Um, who knows, later on they may let you play a Founder or something like that. Not a Founder. Uh, no, they're a diplomatic thing. The ones in charge of the Dominion, uh, the Jimadar. But that's all they can do. That's pretty much your walkthrough. Uh, I wanted to do one other thing for you guys. So let's go ahead and do this off the traditional federation again. And so we're going to make some random character here. And like I did before, we'll do a human last time. So let's skip down here. Let's do a Vulcan. And we'll okay, I'll keep him male because we like penises in our sh shows. Uh, as long as we don't have to see them. All right, we did tactical. We're going to stay with tactical this time. Again. All right, we're computing, so I might skip ahead here. All right, here are all of our options. For the heck of it. I'll give me a fat chubby face. There you go. And we'll no, change it back. Oh, well, who cares? All right. So here we are. Randomize the name. Randomize the ship name. We're going to engage. Oh, and that's what I'm missing. Uh, there was an intro that I'm missing. I wish I would have been able to play for you guys. Oh, here's the intro. So we're going to actually play, choose... Play the tutorial. Here goes, guys. After I left Starfleet, I made it my life's work to reunite the Romulans with their Vulcan brothers. For many years, I lived among them and waged the campaign of peace. Live long. And... 21 years ago, the star of the Hoba system went supernova and sent a wave of devastation across the quadrant. I promised to save the Romulan homeworld. I failed. The planets Romulus and Remus were destroyed. Countless billions were killed. My home, my friends, 
my life, <laughs> all are memories. Time does not stop for one man, and neither does history. The chaos in Romulan space gave the Klingon Empire an opportunity to expand its territory. Jim Pak, the Chancellor of the High Council, traded diplomacy for the tip of a blade. Only in battle, Jim Pak says, is a Klingon truly Klingon. The Federation did its utmost to preserve its alliance with the Klingons, but war was inevitable. Romulans want revenge for their lost world. The Dominion is rebuilding its forces. Now the Borg have reappeared, and the Alpha Quadrant balances on the edge of ruin. The fate of the galaxy rests in your hands. Isn't that cool? Welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation day, and you soon will be embarking on your training cruise, where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. This tutorial will introduce you to the basic controls of Star Trek Online, including movement, combat, and interacting with characters and objects. All right, guys, and that goes the conclusion of this video. Um, if you like what you guys see, I'm trying to remind myself repeatedly over again. Please do that subscribing thing. Please do that liking thing. Um, find me on Facebook. Find me on YouTube. Uh, guys, thank you very much. You guys have a great day, all right? Catch you guys later.